Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, what is microservice and uh, give an example of microservice. Uh, microservice is a different from uh, the monolithic architecture and uh, you can say that the microservice is an architecture and uh, microservice uh, you can say that uh, in the microservice have some API projects and each API project have single responsibility. So the sing, uh, first microservice project is a product service class and in which class you can say that here we have a product model and in the model we have some properties like ID, name, description and price. The next thing uh, you can create in a, a uh, microservice architecture project in the product API you can add uh, application DB context class and here we have to add a products. The similar you can say that ASP.NET Core web applications but web API application and in the um, app settings.json you have create a connection string file and here we have that is the app connection and add this uh, connection string in your uh, startup.cs file. Similarly you can say that uh, uh, a microservice have some, uh, some other API projects. So here we have that connection string is add into the startup.cs file or you can say that program.cs file. So uh, this is the single microservice for the uh, for responsible for, for the products. So um, in the controller section here you can say that here we have uh, a API controller and in API controller just uh, getting data from the uh, database table by using their context file. So here we have a context.products.to list and the get action method default call when uh, when you are calling http get method okay so because the route is the api slash products so uh, this is the uh, this is the product api project uh, rendered on your browser uh, with the swagger uh, swagger api swagger services and actually just i want to open that url in uh, my postman so the route parameter is api slash controller and the controller name is the products so first of all um, just copy and paste the whole url and uh, just add api slash products now you can get the old products from the listing now you can say that uh, this is the product api uh, project or the simple you can say that this is the product api uh, product API project and in the microservice each uh, API projects or you can say each web API project is uh, getting from the gateway. So the main role of the microservice is the gateway because every user uh, access that those API from the gateway or you can say that access MVC applications from the gateway. So uh, here we have, you can say that I will use ocelot.json uh, ocelot file or you can say that ocelot gateway to access that API. So here we have the another project name that is API gateway and inside the API web API, uh, API gateway is the web API project also and in this uh, project just I am uh, add ocelot package by using package manager console and in the uh, product api project you, you can say that here we have three uh, project uh, packages that is entity framework core sql server and tools and in the uh, ocelot api gateway that is web api project also and in this api project here we have one ocelot package reference that is ocelot 18.0.0 so just add this package by using NuGet package manager or also just you can uh, inside you can take inside this package in the item group. Uh, okay. Now after that you have to create ocelot.json file must to uh, take a name that is ocelot O-C-E ocelot L-O-T O-C-E L-O-T dot json file just add a json file in your project. And the routes is here uh, here in, in this uh, JSON file here we have a routes and in the routes uh, here we have a single array 
to get the API project uh, that is the downstream and the upstream. So downstream is related to your uh, API projects or you can say that web API project and a small microservice project you can say. So downstream path template is API slash products downstream scheme that is HTTPS that is the protocol you can say and downstream host and ports is also an array uh, where you can define host and the port and the, here we have the host is local host and upstream path template is uh, related to your uh, gateway uh, gateway path where your client access your microservice so upstream path template is slash products so every uh, clients access product api projects or you can say product microservice by using slash products and upstream http method that is get only the get ma get method is allowed to access by the client so, so upstream http uh, is get and after that you have to set these uh, settings in your program.cs file because this is some uh, you can say that minimal api uh, uh, program.cs file so builder.configuration.addjson file ocelot.json builder.service.add ocelot and uh, after that you can use pipelining by using app.ocelot.wait because use ocelot is a asynchronous method so here we have and these uh, three lines of code you have to add in asp.net core 6.0 and uh, you can say that uh, middleware that is use ocelot.wait is actually existing in ocelot.middleware and services are uh, using ocelot.wait dependence injection okay now after that you you can just uh, uh, get the service uh, product service by using their your gateway so uh, both uh, projects files are uh, started so must to start both of the projects because your application will be uh, running on your local machine so so that you can run multiple projects at the single time so start it and just you got uh, your application or you can say that just you got a product service by using uh, ocelot projects or you can say that slash products so here we have uh, the web api web, uh, product web api projects and also this is the ocelot gateway project api and just get the product by using the product api projects and the same thing you just get from the gateway by using slash products only because this is the uh, port number of the api gateway projects so thank you guys for watching this video uh, and don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, also press the bell icon. If you close uh, your product API project on your local machine then you will not access uh, your uh, product API from your gateway projects because your application will run on your local machine. So both pro uh, projects are running well. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.